Ulrike and me are going to discuss some representative works and about the topic of age and youthfulness, idealism and verism. Now, here I'm sitting in front of an idealized, very emblematic, very elegant young man, about 300 BC. He's youthful, he's the perfect ephebe, about 16, 15 years old with very tiny genitals, very elongated body. It's an ideal. It is not a corporal, a, 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 a body representation of someone. It's the ideal. The same applies to this bust in front of me, showing uh, Asclepios, a uh, no, Roman copy, but imitating a metal original of the 5th or 4th, early 4th century BC. But we are going to concentrate on something which is really very close to portraiture, or is portraiture, but quite complex. And I'm going to discuss that with Ulrike. Now, Ulrike, if you could kindly um, explain this remarkable gentleman, you know, he's a bit frightening. Um, so tell me about this idea, what is it, what period, um, please. Yes. So here we are much later, we are in the 1st century BC, we are in the Roman area, Roman period let's say, and um, not Roman Imperial, we are still in the Republican period, and um, in that period you have a kind of verism in the portrait, and this is a very good example to, uh, to explain it. Uh, you see here an old man, and he has really all the features you, you would have like an old man. So, uh, like the wrinkles everywhere, he's very skinny, like, yeah, like you see the, the cheekbones and the mouth is, is closed and with, a, with some strength. Um, so, this is, this is you, you would say it's, a, it's an individual, actually. It's an old man, it's a portrait, but actually, and that's, the, that's very important about um, the late Roman Republican portrait, it's actually only some features which are used um, by all the old or all the portraits we have in that period. For example, if you compare it here, this is a good parallel actually. I show you. You would think it's a brother of him, but actually it's it's a different man. It's it's someone else. But you see, it's so close. He uses the same features, like the wrinkles here and the cheekbones again. So this is yeah, it's really kind of verism, but it's it's like a like like a how do you say it's it's en vogue to have such it uh, goes, veristic if, if I can say it, it goes even further it's emblematic and we have a senatorial debate about uh, in, in the mid century before Christ where Caesar is actually yelling at someone the only thing you've done in your career is gravito fere gravito fere sitting around here in the senate and pretending to be gravito yeah. so gravitas is a central emblematic uh, content which these Republicans portraits show and have been misleading us by thinking it's individualism. In fact, it's the emblematics of a society and in this case we have a freedman. Yes. It's a freedman which wants to be seen as his master of the gains whatever. He is following his master and he's been freed and he wants to look like his master. Uh, in the 19th century, they would have thought it's a senatorial portrait, but it's not. It's a freedman who, on his funerary monument, wants to be seen as from the gains, Julia gains, you know, one of the gains is he belonged to. You know? And this is in Germany, and that's why we're discussing it. Yeah. It's a huge subject it's of debate. It's a big discussion about it's this. A, uh, yeah, uh, the, 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 explain me, what is verism, in fact? Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, what well, is verism? It's, I mean, it's very difficult to explain it. Um, and it's very interesting because in the Roman portrait you never had it. Again. You never have it again. You have in the Trianic period, for example, um, also private portraits which are rather realistic, let's say. But you would never have it like you have it in the late Republican period. So it, it must it, it's connected with a with the system you have. Then we have a. Yeah, and, and it's ending with Augustus actually. So there is no there is no need for such portraits anymore when Augustus became the first uh, emperor. So um, yeah, it's there is a theory of the origin. What is this exaggerated expressionist coming from? This 
hyper valleys on these portals. Yeah, well, that's a very long discussion. It's a that's very complex long. discussion. We're not possibly now going in. Yeah. It's <laughs> possibly the origins are to be seen in central Italy with the Etruscans, where we have on terracotta on late uh, Etruscan monuments also these incredible varies with ridges and noses and whatever and you think wow what is that for an individual portrait but in fact it's again emblematic and uh, you're right with the imperial system this individualism in brackets stops and the orientation is going after the emperor and his youthfulness or whatever yeah and what's i think it's also important to mention the idea that it's coming from um, the wax masks because yeah the archaeologists try to explain why is it so memoristic it's really it's it's actually ugly you could say and uh, a beautiful ugliness beautiful, yes of course but it's it's i mean i wouldn't portray myself like that actually uh, so this is it's 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 like over veristic almost well the wax uh, portrait only, theory yeah, is a theory because they thought it was taken from the the, the, the diseased um, Republican, yeah. and it's proven now through, by the way, rather concrete testing with anatomic specialists that it's not possible. Huh? That it's really wanton, that the sculptor wants to show over exaggerated features, and it's not a copy of a dead. No, I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's, it could be a copy, it could be a copy, but it could be also just the idea to have it because these. Wax masks, they, they have been presented in the Pomp of Funebris when, the, when for example, someone died. Yeah, it was the funerary. Everywhere. And I think it could, I mean, it has a really, that was really a big event. So to copy this very realistic features into the Roman portrait, I think it's an, I think it's an interesting idea to be It's an idea, so. but it's not, uh, yeah, but it's not proven. Huh? But uh, you had wax masks of your ancestors at home in your house and you would open it once a day, uh, once a year, sorry, you would have a very, very important uh, funeral procession where you would wear these masks of your, you would show the masks of your ancestors. Well, I'm very happy that we are able to present a particularly good example of this style, uh, Roman Republic. Um, it's true, like, he could be from the same family, but he's certainly not. He's uh, just showing the features of his time. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Good. Thank you very much.